at the time, I also got Discover Financial Systems and Synchrony Financial. And I think it was JetBlue and a couple others. Live. Post it over here. All right, cool. S S S Y S S Y. Okay, we'll keep that on watch as well. No, you can hear me. It's just there's no words coming out of my mouth. <laughs> right? Can you hear me? Yes. Can't seem to hear you. You're not talking or saying anything, and yet I can't hear you. Yes, that's how that works. All right, so... Um, <laughs> Good morning, guys. Uh, did I, we get everybody in here? Yeah, everybody's coming in. Great. <clears throat> All right. Well, uh, yesterday I uh, got into um, Microsoft on some uh, show of strength. Uh, I would have loved to have gotten in a little bit earlier, so it was less risk. That would have been awesome. Uh, but nonetheless, Microsoft is up this morning. Looks like uh, about a point. So that's good. Swing trade on its way. <clears throat> oh, thanks, man. Yes, you watched that again last night, Sergio? Or, like, where did you uh, use it on? <laughs> yes. That's the trick. That's the trick right there. On Macy's yesterday, yeah, that was a really good one. Just kept going. And then there was a point in which you had to get out after the more after the full run of it. Did you uh, no, actually no. You maybe could have stayed in the whole day, huh? Wow. Almost the whole day. Yeah, that was a good one. Oh, man. Good morning again, Anthony. Yes. What happened? Did you get bumped out there? Good morning. It says more likes can attract viewers. So you guys over on TikTok, double tap the screen right now. Like make likes happen. Let's see if that works. As more likes can attract viewers. So double tap. There you go. I saw I saw a like. Let's see what happens. Ooh, we're getting a, everybody's doing it. We're getting all these likes. And let's see if the viewer number goes up. Yeah, yeah it's kind of going up a little bit. All right, well, keep that up whenever you feel like it. Apparently, that's a good thing. <laughs> 
I don't know. It's not really moving, but maybe it's going to. We are artificially boosting this broadcast. This, there's a famous uh, thing that happened in history. I think it was Sunny Sunny Sales or something. The guy asked kids. I think it was on the radio. He asked kids to go to uh, go to their parents' bedroom and uh, find their wallet. It's in the top drawer of their dresser and pull out some money and put it in an envelope and address it to Sunny Sales and send it on over. Can you believe that uh, somebody actually had the balls to do that on the radio? This is why we need regulation, unfortunately. <laughs> oh. All right, well, good morning, everybody. We got 20 seconds, 26 minutes to the market open, and uh, we're looking at GOVX and uh, MRIN. NCTY, GRNQ, we got a couple other ones here, NAKD, NVIV, MRKR, and SSY. I think the hottest ones are probably GRNQ and Foot Locker, FL, and possibly GOVX. Well, we'll see how they go, but those shapes on those ones are pretty good how the day goes. And then... Uh, I'm also watching Microsoft or Swing Trade. You're in uh, Foot Locker for a day trade, Dallas? Okay. Now, can you see uh, where the bottom of the base is on Foot Locker? The pre market, the bottom of the pre market base? What price would you say? Too low. That's that's too low. I mean, if you had to use a round number, I'd pick 58. But you know, a little bit below that, yeah, 57, 60, something like that. I just call it, you know, kind of 58. But uh, that would be your risk level. So if you got in at what did you say you got in at 59.50. So yeah, you just recently got in. That's like a dollar 50 to the bottom of the bet to the bottom of the base. And so that's how you configure your risk. A dollar 50 of risk. So hopefully uh, you sized your shares right and you won't get hurt too bad if you have to if you have to get out at 58 ish. Great, great, great. Awesome. Just a little pop quiz for the morning. Are you? OK, nice. And I am itching to start trading with you. Uh, well, very nice. Hello. And then when you're ready, I uh, do just click that discord link in my bio and uh, then you'll be able to join us in the in this zoom and it's a more real time. I think we've got about 30 seconds of delay on the TikTok. So right now, GRNQ, somebody asked, should I go into GRNQ at these levels? And uh, so, you know, right now GRNQ is putting in a base and that's good. But by the time the opening bell happens, 24 minutes from now, it's very frequent, very common uh, to get stopped out. Uh, by then, there's a lot of uh, pivot failures right before the market opens, typically. So, however, if you wanted to get in now, uh, you know, you'd want to put your stop at like a dollar twenty-five at the bottom of that base. It's only six cents away, though. It, it could really get hit. And uh, but uh, the on the positive side, you, you'd only have to get in for about ten cents of risk. Oh, okay, man. Uh, you can't join. That might be because uh, you, you, maybe you're banned on discords. Like maybe you got banned in another discord. I don't know. But, man, if you send me a private message, maybe we can figure it out You know, later today. We'll figure out what the problem is. We might be able to, like, whitelist you, reverse whitelist you or clean you up from the system or something. Well, uh, yeah, we'll figure it out, though. All right, so 22 minutes to the open. Would DLO still be in play today? Not really. I took it off my list. Didn't look uh, promising at all. All right, I'm going to refresh your market, Chameleon. See if there's anything new.
popping. Not really over there. There either, okay. Coin. So it seems like coin bottomed, but where will it go from here? Hard to say sideways for a while. I'm not seeing a trade there. I think, you know, you don't want your money to sit and rot like that. Cisco. I think Palantir is in bad shape, and it will be that way for a while. It still needs some. I like the company, but chart-wise, money-wise, um, it's not time to invest in it yet. Yeah, so yesterday Cisco put in a pretty big candle. That that could be considered a breakout. And uh, if today maybe Cisco could pull back a little bit, it might present a good entry for swing trade. Yeah, Cisco. Not so sure that you'll get a lot of performance out of your money, though. I'm um, like, for example, Cisco only did 35% year over year on your money. Not super performance at all. Genog, Golden Nugget Online Gaming. Yeah, I can't say I see anything good there. Sideways. Yeah, Foot Locker is going to keep going, but my plan there, guys, is hopefully it will drop at the open and then for five minutes to 30 minutes uh, try and find a bottom. Once it does, uh, we'll get in. Otherwise, uh, we'll just have to catch it running. Sure, I've heard of Mater Trader, Mater Trader 4, yes, for decades. Genog is being bought by DraftKings. Okay, then it's all over for Genog. No trade there. Uh, what's that again, F uh, Kyle? What is that first two letters? What are you saying there? F T F T. Maybe you're talking about Foot Locker. Mm, okay. Don't be making up your own abbreviations. <laughs> These things have tickers. <laughs> it's just going to confuse everybody. Somebody will literally will accidentally buy the wrong stock. Like there's there's actually Ford F O R D. Like you got to know the tickers. Did I did I do that once? Maybe <laughs> you remember me doing that? It, it could have happened. Yeah. No, you know what I did once. I think it was about half a year ago. Here was. I accidentally the day before I forget which stock it was, but I bought I so I think I oh I bought puts instead of calls like a whole bunch on something it might have been Facebook or something and the next day it went the other way that we had intended and everybody lost money except I made a ton of money <laughs> uh, and everyone was mad at me. And I couldn't be mad at myself. <laughs> I called out the wrong ticker. Oh, yeah, I think I did. I kind of remember that, yeah. SRGA, what do I think? No, it's just, see, it's in a downtrend, constant downtrend, no. 
surge outline. This is like uh, braces or something. <laughs> yeah. All right. 17 minutes to the open. Where's the Zoom meet link? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Somebody can't find the Zoom link uh, in the in the group. His name is DiGiorno, and I found a meme of a kid just throwing a DiGiorno box into the corner. <laughs> like, come on, if you can't find the Zoom link, you'll never be able to find the buy button and the sell button. Uh, I am not helping him. He's going to have to grow a neuron and find that link. <laughs> yes. I mean, I'm, it's tough love, but I'm going to force him to think. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Vanessa's, Vanessa's in there. I, I'll give you a hint. Look left. AT&T, a good price to buy now. AT&T is never a good price to buy. Fuck AT&T. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, actually, you know, uh, AT&T might be a kind of a good price to buy now, but that's like a for a forever hold. And uh, by the way, AT&T probably will go out of business one day. <laughs> yeah. It might be over in the area called Zoom Links. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they provide a 7.5% dividend. And, th and that's pretty nice. <laughs> no, the problem, no, the problem with AT&T, and I like AT&T as a company and, uh, and all, but the problem there is um, they just go sideways. They're just going sideways, if not slightly down over the years. And so, you know, that's not a great place to uh, park your money. However, they do give you that 7.5% dividend, but there are other stocks that go up and give you a pretty decent dividend too if you really know how to look around and find them. <clears throat> yeah, definitely no more growth. at and is not a growth stock. It's a utility now. Your earnings were good. Yeah, for, and for some reason, the price is kind of unchanged right now. Uh, all right, 14 minutes until the market opens. Uh, I will be saying which one. Uh, however, that's in our live trading group right now. We're doing pre-market. And uh, if you want to uh, join our live trading group, you've got to click the link in my bio. Plan with GRNQ is to grab it on the breakout, dollar fifty one. You're gonna run to what today? Four fifteen? Is that what you're trying to say? Oh run fifteen dollars today. Pop fifteen. So like to three seventy five. I don't know, maybe. I mean you really have a feel for it. That's your baby. Yeah, I've got Microsoft off. Microsoft is just doing great. Uh, what was your name? Private, somebody in here named Private I. Are you here, sir? Looks like our Microsoft is doing good. <laughs> and they want to know about SoFi. Eric, there you are. I forgot your name. Yes, Eric. Um, did you get any yesterday, Microsoft? Oh, that's good. Glad to hear it. Still no guarantees even from here. But, you know, things looked good. And I normally do not get in. You know, you, you're reading the chart nicely. I normally do not get in something already extended like that. But on occasion, with the very, very best companies... When all the signs are there, they do actually take off, 
even more and you're like my god i can't believe why didn't i get in you know and so you know fingers crossed i hope this works out for you DiGiorno sucks <laughs> <laughs> uh any trades if it breaks the 300 mark well i mean it sure looks like it's going to and uh we're in it for a swing trade tell us how you really feel about gme and amc <laughs> yeah yeah uh we made lots of money off of gme and amc when they were skyrocketing uh then we got out and we're not in them and if they skyrocket again we'll get in them Pure and simple. Does Costco ever go down? Let me take a look at that. Costco has been on an insane run. Uh, yesterday had such a good day. Anybody could have bought the dip at 441. You had $15 a gain there. So, Jamal, I didn't see that yet, but I heard about it. I think I did see it. I mean, but I didn't. I didn't watch the presentation. I like saw like maybe a TikTok or something. So I know about it. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. It's a good idea, and it does help open the minds of some Tesla investors or investors who didn't fully understand. Um, the vision for Tesla and why it has such an insane PE ratio. Uh, so I use Thinkorswim from TD Ameritrade. This is really strange, but over time, the camera on my my TikTok slowly pulls out over time really really weird uh yes sir it does we're going to be ending this live right at the market open and trading will continue in our trading community you can come in and get a free trial and be with us trading if you want to trade today and uh all next week GRNQ is having a big candle right now. <clears throat> Did anybody go ahead and get in GRNQ during this base that it's on right now? Saying you can, you know, set your stop to $1.25 and then calculate your risk from your entry. SPRT. So there's no way to really get into Costco, unfortunately. You look at the volume on that. Yeah, no. Dollar thirty. Okay, cool. SPRT. Wish is not the good stock. No. <laughs> now there is Clove, or GME, or AMC. Or what are some of the other ones? Sundial, um, fucking Tilray. <laughs> it's funny, right? I mean, Alex. I mean, you, you know, do you see it? It's 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 funny. It's like this whole class of people. Oh, CCIV, LC, yeah, LCID. <laughs> whole class of people that all they want are aerotine systems moonshots i wonder if the wolf of wall street you know spawned some of that but no i mean if you want to invest in a good company like if you're not day trading or swing trading something and you want to invest in a good company it's not sundial <laughs> You know, where you have to wait seven years to get a return on your money. It's Microsoft. It's Facebook. It's Ford. <laughs> I know. It's crazy. Uh, 
And I guess they tell each other things. They go, oh, you got to open a Weeble account and uh, put $75 on Sundial. Damn you, DiCaprio. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, there's money to be made on meme stocks, but only for a day or two. You have to know how to trade them. These morons are trying to invest in it, like for six months or they're th- probably three months or a year. And yeah, that's just unfortunate. Wish is just a vehicle to steal your money. No, Wish isn't the one. They lied to you. <laughs> Remember when I said I'd invest in you last? Uh, yeah, yeah, you said that. You you said that. I lied. <laughs> That's an old one. Anybody know which movie I just did? That is a definitely an old one. And it wasn't Red Dawn. Yep. That was definitely Arnold. All right, we got five minutes until the market opens. And uh, we're hoping for a pullback on Foot Locker. Might get into that, uh, but yeah, we're watching SPRT, we're watching uh, GovX uh, and GRNQ. These seem to be the hottest ones. We're also watching SSY, MRIN, NCTY, Naked, NVIV, and Marker, and we're also keeping an eye on Microsoft and Apple, Tesla, and Amazon, <clears throat> and we'll be trading the market as soon as the market opens in five minutes. You quote that same line weekly. Which one? Remember that I I would said I would kill you last. I lied. No, it's not Terminator. Nope. There you go. Steven got it. Commando. Yeah, yeah man. You you said that. <laughs> That's hilarious. They probably did. <laughs> we're like, well, let's just kill him in the middle of the movie. All right, we'll make it up then. Just, you're supposed to kill him last. All right, I'm refreshing the market chameleon in case there's anything else, but we've, we're following SRPT now. Also, I mean SPRT. With 400,000 volume. F cell has good potential, somebody says. All right, you guys, over on TikTok, make sure you click the link in my bio. So today's market uh, possibly could be an inside day, most likely. Or it may actually, yeah, no, I may run green for a while here, get all the way up to 444, maybe even 445. It might be quite the green day today, actually, now that I'm looking at it. What? Oh, wow. 29 sheets. Don't make a mistake. (laughs) Calls on your company, yeah. Anything going to run up all day? Maybe Foot Locker. (laughs) 
I have DHR up here in case we want to get back in it. See what it does today. <clears throat> and Microsoft is almost all ready at 300 with two minutes until the open. Yeah, then I think I could see SPY going to 445 today, testing it. It might test 445. If it doesn't test 445 today, it will do that, you know, Monday or Tuesday. But that's definitely a key level it's going to want to test, 445. And it feels really close to going in that direction. Looks really close. Saren. Okay, nice to meet you, Saren. Click the link in my bio. Click the link in there, the pinned link. All right, one minute and 30 seconds to the open. Yes, Foot Locker moving, but there's likely to be some profit taking at the open. Let's see what happens. It ends up dropping to maybe 57, 56. Uh, then we'll look for a bottom and then we'll, and then we'll get in down there. And if we day traded with options ever, if that's something you, get, you, you, you might do, you might do on that on this particular play, uh, you get at the money nearest expiration. However, some of your platforms might not, not let you get nearest expiration on a Friday. <laughs> All right, 30 seconds to the open. NAOV, what's my opinion? Yeah, I know nothing's nothing. I don't have an opinion on that one. Uh, we're out of that. We, we played that a couple days ago. That's old news. At the price of what? At the price of deer? Oh, <laughs> you're going to be so nervous. Uh, just send me a private message and I'll, and I'll tell you. All right, here we go. Now we're looking for a breakout at $1.51 on GRNQ. If it's $1.51, uh, then you can get in for 25 cents of risk. $1.51 breakout on GRNQ. If it happens, Foot Locker, we're looking to see if we'll get some kind of a pullback here. Watching SPRT. If SPRT breaks 962, uh, then we can get in for what will be about 40 cents of risk. You need to be writing these things down. In the moment, uh, you want to be ahead of the game. And not be like asking like, oh, is it, is it, what was it? Yeah, no, you don't want to be behind the eight ball there. 